Did you know that total net carbon storage can be positive in as little as 11 years after regeneration felling? New research shows that clear-cut areas become carbon sinks much more quickly than was previously believed. But how does this happen? Growing forests bind carbon from the air in the tree's trunks, branches, leaves and roots. The faster the forest grows, the more carbon is bound in the trees and soil. When a tree is felled, some of the carbon remains bound in the wood, used to build houses and produce paper or other wood-based products. Some of the carbon returns to the air when wood is burned, for example as fuel to heat homes or produce electricity. At the same time, producing electricity and heat with bioenergy replaces fossil energy sources such as coal and oil. Carbon dioxide also returns from forest to air as dead trees, ground vegetation and root systems slowly decompose. When a growing forest reaches a certain age and the trees are no longer growing as quickly or are dying, the forest does not bind as much carbon. When an area is clear-cut, the forest also stops binding carbon, while the soil continues to emit carbon. This creates a net carbon emission increase, since the soil always emits carbon. The major difference is simply the disappearance of the trees that were binding carbon. But as soon as new trees begin to grow, the forest starts absorbing carbon again. The climate and carbon dioxide emissions are two of the most important issues of our time. So scientists have been interested in discovering how long it takes before new trees growing in a clear-cut area start to bind more carbon than the area emits. And how long before we're back on the plus side again? In other words, how long before more carbon is bound in the newly planted trees than the amount emitted due to clear cutting? These studies are hard to do because forests grow so slowly, but scientists at Linnaeus University and the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences have now completed a unique project that's been running for many years, studying the role forestry plays in carbon storage. Researchers took thorough measurements of various types of clear-cut areas and wind throws in two Swedish regions. The results of the research study are interesting. In one of the clear-cut areas studied, it took only eight years before the new forest began capturing more carbon than the soil emitted. In other words, before the forest was transformed from a carbon source into a carbon sink. On average, it took between eight and 13 years for this to happen in the areas studied. So a felt forest becomes a carbon sink much more quickly than what many people previously believed. Another valuable finding from the study is that total net carbon storage can be positive in as little as 11 years. By increasing growth in the forest and making the most of more forest residues, we can shorten this time even more. The research project has produced important new information Managed forests in Sweden are carbon sinks for a much longer period of their long cycle from plant to plank. Forest landowners who manage and care for their forests are helping the climate.